this video I will dedicate to Belarus. I'm going to dedicate one to China and I'm going to dedicate one to the Russia. Basically to the all-out war which China, none other than China, dictates. And China is out there engaging in China would love nothing more than to engage in a full-scale war on Europe. That's why I'm dedicating this video. In fact, China already is engaging in a war on Europe. China declared war on Europe. You cannot say at this point in time anymore that's not true. Because the latest situation of Alexander Lukashenko, which developed along the Belarusian Polish border and involves Chinese troops, <coughs> troops all the way from China, <coughs> sending a very provocative message to the world as to, well, we are practicing. Um, anti-terrorism drills we are talking about this here this is not fairly crazy but definitely crazy uh, only crazy in a sense if you will start to see this something as normal as a new normal as usual China did go too far I would really not record this stuff but once you see this on video on NATO and EU's most eastern frontier tensions are mounting as a joint military exercise between China yeah in the video we will get when on NATO and EU's most eastern frontier tensions are mounting as a joint military exercise between China and Belarus begins oh, well, near the city of with Brest, this computer, only a few kilometers Milan Kuchan computer does its best on NATO and EU's most eastern frontier tensions are British royals know what is the right thing to give me or I should say what is the right thing for me to own you know do you know this guys do you still remember the Belarus uprising hey <laughs> this happened in 2021 why are people protesting in Belarus look I am gonna um, ask question how many people escaped Belarus I should say Lukashenko and Putin how many was it for the 14,000 people God knows how many were locked killed in the process if you ask me this is a terrorism this is a, this goes into the domestic terrorism well, what is this here? 250,000 people. Two hundred and fifty thousand, whatever, uh, protested, etc., etc., etc. So, if if you ask me, this is a terrorist. This is not even a dictator. This is not even. This is a terrorism because I think that a lot of these people was just scapegoated. I think that in Belarus it's a genocide that goes on. I think the Belarus people are under attack. I think it's about very similar situation that's taking place in Belarus as it is in Ukraine. Have you ever watched Ukraine? What the fuck went on inside of the Ukraine? Uh, Ukrainian population depopulated from 53 million to 45 million in 2014 and it's at current in about 33 million 
So it was in 1953 million, but there was no war, but there was a Russian terrorism that went on inside of the Ukraine. And it's the same shit that goes on uh, with the Belarus. They disarmed nuclear armed Ukraine and started to kill people from within the system. The same shit goes with no resistance whatsoever inside of the Belarus. So this is this is a this is a terrorism. This is a definition of the terrorism, and China knows it. China knows this stuff very 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 good. China is basically saying, hey, is saying, hey NATO, hey European Union, do you see us where we are at? Do you see us where we are at? We are in Belarus. We are next to Poland now. We have a border now with the Poland. And we can't wait to actually have war with Europe, a full-scale war. You are going to shut up. You're going to you're going to quiet, you're going to swallow this. Or we're going to have an all-out war. 6000 kilometers away from Beijing. China stations its troops right here. It's called Brest and it's right in the border with the Poland. Sending us anti-terrorist message. Do you know any terrorist groups here in the Europe you would be aware of? Okay, so we have China searching for a terrorism groups within obviously European Union. So we at the European Union, obviously, that we grow a terrorism. We are exporter of a terrorism to the Belarus, which is a legitimate state, legitimate country. Well, and if you consider North Korea that is sending troops to Russia to assist next to the weapons they have sent to the Russians to support technically Russian troops in war on people of Ukraine um, China is laughing all out in the face of NATO and is calling out NATO with we want war with you we want war with you now we don't want war here is what China is saying. We don't want war here. That's not what we want war. We want war here. Right where you see that red dot. We want war in Europe. That's what the China is saying. I don't know how the NATO is going to answer this booty call from China. I have no idea how NATO will respond to this. The call, however, should not be responded lightly. Because with each day that goes by, uh, the, the war with the China will become more and more inabitable and eventually the dot that you see right there it will cross into the European territory, probably even past Poland, past Ukraine, if the things are going to continue to grow like this. China had no respect. China was the one who assured Russia, financed Russia, armed Russia, continues to finance war, uh, and is acknowledging European Union NATO as a terrorist organization is somebody who is threatening legitimate Belarus regime. So, yeah, uh, things are developing. This is why I took time to re-record this stuff. And you're going to look for the videos yourself about Alexander Lukashenko, uh, how one is preparing himself to face off with a terrorist from the European Union um, that are endangering the democracy of a Belarus.
God knows how many they killed. 17,700 or whatever. That was long time ago. But the psychiatric hospitals, when I was in the Belarus, in a city of Minsk, in a city of Vitebsk, in, in a city of Brest, they all the time have ambulance uh, um, vans, ambulance vehicles. They all the time terrorize people with ambulance vehicles. They drive them back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I was told by the locals, it's a psychiatry. I was told by the locals, they terrorize people and even make people disappear. So this is more like a North Korea. at the doors of the European Union and I think the world is out for a total war. The unavoidable is becoming more and more unavoidable with each day that goes by and China wants... China is smashing the table and is screaming that wants the war with NATO. And China wants the war with NATO inside of the Europe. They want war right here. They don't want one in China. They want here, on our doorsteps. That's, that's where they want to test the weaponry and that's where they want to see what is worth of. And when it comes to the military strategy, I guess they believe that they will. this is the way to take over Russia entirely, systematically, whether it's through the war, through the series of wars, like from within, maybe even divide the Russia part Russia or whatever, I don't know, but this is a filthy, 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 filthy game that I hardly believe that we have come to the stage that we landed in a, such a low diplomacy like this, that this is, this is what China is all about. I am shocked about this stuff. Belarus, China defense is that called these drills they call them anti-terrorist it's anti-terrorist yeah we're against the terrorism now we we are against the terrorism this is what this is is we are against the terrorism and it's a training against the terrorism and we're going to teach you NATO, we're going to teach you European Union about the, the terrorism, about the anti-terrorism. We're going to show you basically how that stuff is done. Uh, NATO, European Union need to learn from China and Belarus. Basically, you should, you European diplomats, you should go to North Korea, to the Kim Jong-un. You should go to his parade and he will demonstrate you basically how, you know, how the properly society functions. Uh, you get to see basically his troops marching and he's going to demonstrate you how the border is guarded properly so that the terrorists cannot cause harm. And by the way, maybe you can also stop it. The prison, if they're going to be kind enough to demonstrate you maybe the barbed wires with the people psychiatric hospitals with the graveyards behind this psychiatric hospitals and you can learn all you got to do is you can learn from it so that you know how the free world operates now I think it's obvious that this is becoming the unavoidable this is totally unavoidable and it's it's not that it's becoming unavoidable this is unavoidable with each day that goes past, that goes by, it's becoming more and more unavoidable and more and more difficult to face off with. And you already know what exactly that means. Six thousand miles, six thousand kilometers far from Beijing. That's a long way to bring the military with to engage in such a provocative operation extremely extremely provocative because Lukashenko 
launch literally allowed Russian troops to be stationed in Belarus. And in some cases, I read reports that troops even entered Ukraine from the Belarus side. It was provocations, it was attacks even from the Belarus. So I don't see I don't see the point in, in a diplomacy like this. I mean you have to be I don't know what to understand what the hell this is all about. You try to avoid the unavoidable is a stupid idea.